when I call your name. So please don't set me free. I'm as heavy as can be. I will do you harm. I will break my arm. I'm a victim of your charm. I want to be dead when I am. I'm in bed, I can't beat for me, you can't beat me, I would like to shame you, I would like to blame you, just because of my love to Just a skin set as brown as in vain. I don't think that drives it away. The love itself brings us Yeah, this is all the uh, important stuff. No brown. All right, Raster. Oh, man. My name is Joshua. I will serve you, princess. Oh, just it. It is symbolized. And we'll find out today, because we're going to beat it today. So Raster, that was part of your answer right there. Like. Maybe it was.
That was, uh, Sir Joshua. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you'll find what you were saying early it just as funny as I did. I was like, I'm I'm just not gonna say anything else because I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> Alright, so this part is rough. So, if you don't remember, last night, um, the, all the kids turned against us, and now the monthly gift is Filthy Jennifer. I'm, you know what, I'm actually not going to say anything, because I don't, I'm just not going to say anything. Um, especially because this, this part's going to be rough, and we're going to be doing it for a while. Alright, um... Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Alright. So can I just go in that one door? I guess so. Okay. Anything in there? Okay. All right. Oh, cool. I don't think I'm supposed to go in here. God, I thought you were dead. Okay, so we're okay. Oh my god, I'm not trying to look at the towel, I'm trying to look at the door. Is there nothing? Okay. Possibly. Oh, cool. I'm I'm stuck in it. I was supposed to go in this door. Okay. Possibly. 
Like at the you're you're asking questions I I can't answer. Okay. I might just get just get got so I can reload. Welcome at William. How's it going? Okay. Alright, so this is what we're supposed to do. A jumping stew. The rat stands in your way. The pig stands in your way. The goat stands in your way. Okay. Wendy, run! It's dangerous in here! I have to be sure not to, uh... Go into the wrong door. Okay. Thank you! Thank you for giving the shout out. That's not what I was trying to do, but okay. I don't know who gave the shout out, but thank you. Meh. Okay. Okay, kitchen. Okay. Oh, this is the easiest one. Cool. The shout out master. Okay. Oh, that helps. Okay, now I can see. Okay, um... So that's one down. Martha. Oh, Martha. What the hell is that? Okay, um, I don't need this. With the raising now. Oh, be tricky. Cool. Yeah, everything will be answered very soon. Well, as soon as I can uh, get through this chapter, which is not an easy chapter to get through. Okay. Okay, exit this room, turn directly into the rear stairwell. Okay. Go up a floor and door to the right. I'm just... I'm just trying to get through this one, because it sucks. Okay, train tracks leading to it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, just the rats. Okay. 
Okay, um... Okay, yeah. Exit the way you came. Turn away from the tracks into the solitary door in the left. The sewing room. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to eat a shortbread. Okay. So, away from the train tracks. Door on the left. Okay. Kill the pig. Come on. Okay. Okay, you did. Oh, I see it. Interesting. Interesting. We're at the point where I'm just not gonna say anything. Oh shit. Um Go the way you were. You will find out very soon. Okay, so we went this way and we gotta go to the library. Wait. Is this the library? Okay, good. Uh, kill the goat. Hopefully I can just kill this one. Okay, good. Alrighty. We just gotta get through two more. And then you'll find out everything. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we're doing okay. Um, let's eat some biscuits. Biscuits are pointless almost. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kill the goat. Leave and turn a direct right. Um. Wait, we're missing some. Hold on. Oh, poop. Okay, yep. So we gotta go back to that, that place with the, uh, I gotta go back downstairs. Oh God. Okay, good. So I'm a little worried. I told you last time, there is a, uh, there's a room that you cannot win, or I couldn't win. Okay. 
Okay, so we're there. So this should lead back to the... Yes. Okay. Oh god, pause. Okay, so I think it's... Is it this door? Yes, okay, it is this door. We're gonna go save. <laughs> If we could. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> Welcome in, Taylor. How am I looking? I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. We're almost done with this, surprisingly. Smash. <laughs> I guess. Nope, not not gonna say that. Cause y'all will take that and run with it. Okay. Pass. Okay. Alright. You involved- oh my god. <laughs> um... Okay, okay. Less- less- you go in the opposite direction now. Um... I will kill this pig. We will save. And then your your questions will be you'll probably yeah So there's a reason I've been making I've been playing the opening video before I go on go live I want y'all to remember um, the, the opening movie. The opening cinematic is very important. It's not the right room. Whoops. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how old Wendy is. <laughs> Jen technically is not the P. Hold on. Okay, yes, this is this is the right room. Um but first before we go get all the questions answered, did y'all want to see the kill room that there is no escape from? No, I'm sorry. The there was no P rhyming in the uh, opening. Surprisingly, they they sing about it in one of the other movies, though. Let's go find that kill room. We saved. We'll save. Or I mean, we saved. So we'll just go find the kill room. We'll go die. Because I want, I'm, I'm very curious if there's any point to that room other than it's just a trap. Um. Okay. So it might be. Yeah, okay, this is it. This? I don't know what this thing, I guess it's supposed to be a giraffe?
Oh, it's a bird. That's right. <laughs> oh, once we get killed in here, I'll, we'll, we'll see the end. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know the point of... Other than just, like, just a huge trap. Okay. No! No, oh, brown. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Did you want to see the opening movie again, or just have your questions answered? Because, yeah, if I, I think... Opening... Okay. We'll just... We'll sit... Not that it helps. You're like right on it. And all your theories, you've you've basically put it together in all your theories. Yeah, you've you've got it. Hold on, let me let me There we go. Okay. I think it goes back to the... Okay, there it goes. I will not answer any questions because everything's... gonna be, uh... <laughs> I'm about to. We're at the very end. We're just we're doing a refresher of the uh, the opening movie because it's got it's got a lot of uh, story in it. But it's it's good to see it all in one at one time. I think she's supposed to be eighteen, eighteen or twenty. Anyone else, I don't know. And also, if you know the ending, do not spoil it. Because Raster might have his head explode. And that'll be funny. So no spoilers. When I reach my chain, when I call your name. So please, don't set me free. I'm as heavy as can be. Rude. <laughs> I want to be dead when I am I'm in bed. I can be so me. You can beat me. No, I'm not gonna say anything to the very end. Okay, so one one big uh Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> one big thing theme with this game is um the obsessiveness that kids can have. Especially when they have no uh, guidance or boundaries or rules and they go wild. <laughs> Obsession, yeah. And when they're put into horrible situations. And so also, remember, it is, it is. You're right, Epsilon. <laughs> Theorizing hard. So also, we were in the mansion, but now we're in a airship, but there was the door to the outside just in the background. 
Also, I'm sad we never got the gun in this run. And see, we're back in the mansion. A lot of confusion. <laughs> I see you theorizing. <laughs> Like I said, you've you've basically put it together. Just in difference. I know. I would I I would I would cosplay as her. The cutscenes are fantastic. The combat is awful. Awful, awful. She is just a very unlucky girl. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Again, you've got like you're putting it together with different pieces, but it's it's not quite there. at the very I mean really at the very beginning you're on a bus there's a kid on there the Joshua kid uh, that we've been chasing after he gives you a book and you follow him and he you follow him to the mansion and uh, yep red crayon for the roses um, you follow him to the mansion and you see a bunch of kids like beating a bag of something and you go inside to chase after them and that's when you're taken to the um the rule of love i don't know uh, i think it's just because roses are um they're lux luxurious and um oh yes very much so um, but, oh, go back. So you get to the mansion and you chase the kids and you, uh, are led to the courtyard, which we're about to go to, and there's a hole and that's where you are thrown into a coffin or poured water on, thrown into the coffin and carried onto the, um, airship. It's all very weird, right? Mm. Nothing. So, we're back here. We've unlocked all the doors. Uh, so we're going to go... Go open the door that was unlocked. And this is where I stop explaining this way, right? Ow. 
Ouch. Did we go the wrong way? Would Wendy consider killing Josh? Wendy eat over at Wendy's. Wendy's wasn't around yet, unfortunately. Uh, would Wendy consider killing Josh? No. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, oh, I missed it. Maybe this isn't the right... Is this not the right way? Ow. That's the toilet. No, we didn't go the right way. Yes. As I said, I wasn't going to answer anymore, and I'm sitting here answering yes. Yes. Um... Mm. So, I have to give another warning. Um, this is a horrible game. It's a horrible story. It's a... It's great. I, I do love this game. This is a horrible, horrible story. Um, we went completely wrong way. Nope. Uh... Brown is just brown. Oh yeah, I, like, as soon as I finished this game the first time, I was like, okay, so what happened? And I read into it, I was like, oh my god. I've, I've never played. Okay, are y'all ready? I'm not. <laughs> Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So it can be said that the imps represent anxiety. Oh, God. I don't. So this is your new friend, huh? So filthy, but adorable. Oh yes, Jennifer, there will be an aristocrat club meeting after this. Today will be the most wonderful day. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, let's read the story. The Funeral The funeral. Once upon a time, a girl found a hole in the ground in the yard. The little people came out and told her the news. Today is the day of your funeral. If you don't like it, then you must sacrifice your friend. Who wants to be buried alive? So the girl did what she had to and buried her best friend. Well, I wouldn't want to be her best friend. And the girl finished reading the story, but the dreadful imps had all vanished. And even her dearest friend is, no is nowhere to be found. Are y'all ready? Then the girl thought she heard cries of her friend calling for help. Okay, let me... Let me remember... Okay, so... No, I'm in the right room. Okay. Oops. Ah! This time the girl was certain it was calling her friend calling for help. It's not the girl's dear friend. What happened to him? Was he... 
Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was a nervous wreck. You better plug in. It's about to happen. So, notice that she's probably not the most uh, reliable narrator because that looked like brown, but it wasn't. It was not the girl's dear friend this time either. Something terrible has happened to him. Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was a nervous wreck. So yeah, we never got to see this. Um, instead of the airship, this is where the aristocrat club meeting was held. If uh, I can get the camera to cooperate. Going the right way? Yes. No. Mm hmm. Yeah, there was no. They were not really on an airship. Okay. Um. There was an airship. But the kids, all the kids were not on it. Okay, where is the door? Mm hmm It's a dried flower wreath and a slip of paper. I have never been in here. And I'm guessing that was... Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. I, I don't know what that says. <laughs> One, build computer. Two, sell computer. I... These are developers. Interesting. I, no, I think those are developers. Because you you really can't get to any of these rooms up here until, well, now. Huh. I've, I've never, never seen that room before. Okay. Sorry. I know. All right, um, I'm a little lost. I don't remember having this much trouble getting to where I need to go. Drying pepper is spread all over the... Okay, now they're... they don't have anything on them, even though they, they do. And... Can't tell what that is. No, Josh is not the bad guy. Okay. Is this where we just were? Girl could hear her friend calling for help from behind the door. Okay, this is where we're supposed to be. Okay, camera says nope. There we go. Yet again, it was, it was not the girl's dear friend. Something really must have happened to him. Okay, she's a nervous wreck. Mm hmm Strange tools with fresh blood splattered on them are laying on the table.
this month's gift. Filthy brown. Yep. Yep. Where is it? <gasps> Notice the two tones. There you are. Your bike is in the back. It's too late now. Give me back my friends! <laughs> Liar! Go away! Just go away! <laughs> Never forgive you! Not ever! <laughs> and as for the rest of you, how could you believe all those lies? Yep. I hate you, and I hate you, and you! And I hate myself the very most for playing your stupid games and not having the strength to stand up to you! It's all just hideous! Kind of sort. I'll, I'll explain here in a second. Because I saw this and I was just like, huh? So. Uh, Jennifer was the girl from the beginning. And she was also Joshua. Her family was on the airship. The airship crashed um, outside. No. So the, the airship crashed outside Gregory's house. Gregory did have a son named Josh. Josh died. Um, but Jennifer was the lone survivor of the airship Gregory found. Um, Jennifer and Gregory was messed up enough in the head he was like it's my son it's, it's Joshua so he cut Jennifer's hair and dressed him up like Joshua and the orphanage was not far away and Wendy came she she visited and saw what she thought was a boy Joshua and she, I don't want to say fell in love, but became obsessed with him. Um, and she rescued Jennifer, and Jennifer went to go live at the orphanage. Um, so Jennifer and Wendy were best, best buddies. Until Jennifer found a puppy in the shed, which we, we kind of stumbled on earlier. And that became her new best friend. Because it's a cute puppy. And Wendy got jealous. 
So she started having the girls turn against Wendy, I'm sorry, Jennifer, trying to get her into the aristocrats. And um, the for November, the monthly uh, gift was Dirty, um, Dirty Brown. So they killed Brown. That's what we came, we walked up on at the beginning of the game. They were beating something in a sack. It was Brown. Um, you were, you were, you were, that's why I was laughing. I was like, oh my God, you were like stepping all over it. It's not over yet though. It gets... A little worse. Stray dog and the lying princess. So there's more. And a lot of this gets cleared up. Uh, I can't remember if it's this chapter or the next. Never. Clara ran away after her forced C-section. Uh, shortly after that, she ran away. <laughs> See, I will take that. Um. Well, we don't need the funeral. Stray dog. Stray dog and a lying princess. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who told lies. She liked to scare the other girls by screaming, Stray dog is coming! Stray dog is coming! See, she's the one in the bed. She's This is Wendy. Um, it, it kind of was, um, I think. It should have gotten a lot more recognition than it did. But soon, everyone stopped being scared. They hated the way that she lied. One day, the girl came home screaming, Stray dog is really, is coming, really. Everyone thought it was just another lie. Except this time, it was no lie at all. And so they were all gobbled up. The end. Interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing it's the next chapter. Um, the girl who cried straight on, yep. So yeah, at this point, um, the adults are gone. Um, Martha left first. Because she was just... She, I, I want to say she, like, reached out to, for help because, uh, Dr. Mr. Hoffman was being really gross and creepy, and she couldn't get help, so she, she left. And then, I'm not entirely sure what happened to Mr. Hoffman, but he also left. So, okay. Um... Foul-smelling laundry baskets have been placed on the shelf. So, all the adults left, so it's just the kids in a house. <laughs> By themselves. In, in the country, in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So, I don't, I don't know if you caught that last part. There's no adults here anymore. The adults all left. So Stray Dog is not, he's not perverted. Mr. Hoffman was the creepy pervert. Uh, 
Um, stray dog is just not, not well. He's unwell, losing his son, and just, I think there was something having to do with him being in the war. I don't, I don't remember. And I, I missed some of the stuff. So Stray Dog, uh, Stray Dog is Ger Gregory. Mr. Hoffman was the creepy guy, um, creepy older guy. Gregory was the guy in the, the coat and hat. <laughs> he ran the orphan orphanage, yeah. Uh, but he's gone. Like, all, all the adults are gone now. So this is after... Um, after Brown got killed. And I'm gonna take this little lollipop. Thank you. And, um... We beat the shit out of Wendy. And Wendy ran off. Because she, uh, she ordered for the girls to bring them Greetings. Dirty Brown. Princess, please forgive all that I've done. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. Thank you very much for coming to our new aristocrat club. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. From now on, you'll be our new princess. The so Wendy orchestrated the whole now, thing. Princess, please think up a new No. Name. Please lead us. Wendy was the one with the uh princess. She's the one that came to save us from princess, go ahead. Gregory. Guide us. We need you. We don't know what to do. It's one day. It's one day. No, we just we beat her up and she ran away. But now she's come back. She was gone for like two weeks. <laughs> or no, she was gone for a month. That's right. She's gone for a month. And now she's back outside. And all the girls are gonna run out there and see what's going on. Um Stray Dog Legend. That is just Wendy's lie. So yeah, Wendy orchestrated all, all the stuff. Uh, let's go see. That didn't sound good. Oh, something like that. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Yep. So this, I think, is just a lot of her interpretation of the thing. Uh, you'll see, you'll see what happens <laughs> here in a second. Uh, what happened outside? So this is her interpretation. I don't think he was on all fours, crawling around like an animal. <laughs> I think he was just being very animal-like. This the easiest boss fight. Mermaid was so much harder. He got poopy pants. Whoop. 
Owies. So yeah, I don't think he's an actual animal crawling around on all fours. It's just... This is what she interprets. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got stuck in him. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. He's kind of creepy. Yeah, he's uh, a <laughs> crack half up the back. And it's brown! Oof. Yeah, his model's a little, little funky. Ugh, damn it. Yeah, I feel like especially the end was a- ooh, oh, okay. The end was a little rushed. Um, or maybe that's just really what they were going for. You'll- it'll, it'll show itself in a second. Brown's fine. He's just taking a, he's taking a break. I'll get him up in a second. Get your poopy pants out of here. So, Brown, let's let's get you up. Let me. Oh, Brown, you're such a good buddy. All right, so let's go see what happened outside. I. I love this. I think it is so interesting how they did this. All she sees are clothes. She can't fathom what what's actually happened. Because you wouldn't love me. Because you were so stubborn. I brought you here. Because you fell in love with Brown. Because you didn't realize it was me. I brought Stray Dog here. But I... Please stop him with this. Only you and your beloved dog can stop him. I'm sorry. I got Gregory's gun. Ooh, he came. <laughs> but yeah, she can't... She can't process what's out here. She can just remember that there's just clothes all over the ground. He says, I'm sh sorry, Joshua. I'm sorry, Joshua. I always thought that was kind of weird. Yep, he is now.
to January. January of 1930. So we've gone back in time. Once upon a time. Because remember, the airship crashed in June or July of 1929. Once upon a, once upon a time. Two girls and then they get tied up. And then they dance. And one falls over and there's a little brown. Oh, and then she's gone. And then there's Stray Dog peeking in. This letter looks familiar. Yes, it's one of the secret letters that Wendy and I traded. 25th March from W to J. My dear Jennifer, there is nothing to fear. I am always by your side. I will never betray you. We made an oath, remember? I'm so relieved that you were... Oh, July. Uh, I'm so, so relieved that you're well again. Is that why I couldn't find you yesterday morning? It's no use trying to fool me. I can see right through your pranks. Anyway, thanks in advance. August. Thank you for introducing me to Brown, but such a filthy dog is not good. A, not a good match for you and me. Just give it to Nicholas or something and let us be content with just the two of us. September. My stubborn Jennifer, is Brown that important to you? It's just a dog, a filthy animal. Please stop wait sharing your wonderful smile with that thing. Please smile only at me. October. Jennifer the Heartless, why didn't you come? I waited and waited for you. Why can't I see you every morning? I think only of you. Are you avoiding me? Wendy. You're always so lonely. Poor lonely Wendy. It is. I wonder if my letters ever reached her. So she was jealous of Brown um, because we spent more time with Brown and she lied to the other girls so they didn't really care for her either even though they did, she was the princess. Uh, no one ever suspected that something precious was hidden inside or that it, did they know that it was the only place where I could keep my things safe. No. Nope. Feels as if something very dear to me was here. Someone or something that always looked after me, helped me. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay. When I came here, this suitcase was the only luggage I had. I lost everything in the accident. My mother, my father, all my possessions, even my memories. So yeah, and if I had found all the, um, all the, there's, there's more to it. There's more story stuff, um, that I didn't find. Oh, I run bad. I mean, I guess if I had an accident in a an airship, I would probably run kind of messed up too. So I don't know if there's anybody around that I can actually see or interact with. I don't remember, but I'm guessing not. The book is open. Ah, yep. March 1930. 
Recently, the children have been engaging in odd activities and spreading disturbing rumors. Rumors about creatures that come after children who don't clean up and stray dogs that kidnap small tots. It's all very bizarre. What do they say about main characters with amnesia? Let's see, August. Today I was busy catching up with my work when Clara came by to offer me a hand. I guess my teaching has paid off. I was grateful for her kindness. In the wee hours of the morning, she was still working, so I gently took her to bed. Hmm. Lazy writing. Oh. I don't think it's lazy writing. I think it's more of just, I don't know. I roll with it. I can hardly believe it. My little Clara, bless her heart, is already 16 years old. She tells me she wants to stay at the orphan orphanage and help the daily chores. Maybe I should seriously consider the offer. Tomorrow I'll discuss it with Martha. Mm. Mm -mm. At the time, it seemed so frightening. Are those scary things that attack me just figments of my imagination? Uh, August. This is simply inexcusable. My precious poi is gone. Oh, the fish. The children must be responsible. I don't stand for this. Where is Diana? She's been... What's she been up to? My opinion of her will suffer because of this. The diary continues, but the last page is particularly, particularly interesting. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of cruelty. <laughs> it's Mr. Hoffman's last entry before he disappeared. Mm-hmm. November 1930. I'm leaving the orphanage. Claire is here to look after things, and the children are quickly growing up. I've done right and fulfilled my duty. Bloody hell, all the trouble started when that wretched child arrived. I've done nothing to deserve this. We never saw Mr. Hoffman again. I know you're in a very stinky place. Because that rag Diana put to my face smelled just awful. But no matter how clever or fast you are, there's no escaping. You're like a mermaid in captivity, adapting to a new reality. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the dinosaurs! Blocking your view. <laughs> um, so yeah, saying that he played music while they were sleeping, which it's often thought that uh, he played music to drown out um, what could have possibly been going on with Clara. Yeah. I mean, just the phrase, take her to bed, is pretty damning. A day Mr. Hoffman disappeared, he was like he was running away from something. He tried too hard to be someone he wasn't. The expectations were too much for him, and he wanted to escape those restrictions. Ugh. I don't think she likes anything. However, children and adults live in the same world, and we must, we most, wow, we must both play by society's rules. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, there's a lot of very heavily hinted stuff. No. Um... She wasn't evil. Um, I mean, the most that she did, oh, it was a goat, or supposed to be a goat, uh, the most that she did was just, uh, she ran away. That's... I'm curious if, uh... Yeah, it's the kids. No, they're just being kids. On Halloween, we all dressed up in costumes. 
Everyone else wore bags over their heads and stared at me through tiny holes. Their blank faces and muffled voices. It scared me like it wouldn't believe. Is it really you under there? I asked, fearing it was someone else. But no one would answer me. Children of the corn. Yeah, this is this is the part where like you can go through the house and have all the answers. Like you're given all the answers. Amanda was always more sensitive about her looks than anyone else. One day she was given a blech. She was given a severe scolding by Miss Martha. That's because Miss Miss Martha's lipstick had gone missing. The lipstick was never found, but I know Amanda took it. I've seen her applying it late at night. Okay, so yeah, that's outside. I don't even know if we can go outside. No, okay. At least not that way. I'm gonna go upstairs. I can't. Oh. Okay. Let me cut. So yeah, um oh god. All the kids died. Stray dog killed all the kids. Ew. No one really played with the toys here because they were all old. Only Thomas was the master of this room. A new girl, a new girl! He exclaimed when we first met. He seemed to enjoy teasing me. Oh, I thought she was actually looking at something. I'm really curious to find um, the sick bay. <laughs> oh my god, y'all are loud. <laughs> what the heck is that? Shut up. I don't know if you can actually find the kids. Okay, sick bay. It's a horrible but really just haunting game. Clara was a quiet person. To me, she looked like just another student at the orphanage. Except when she spoke to Mr. Hoffman or Martha. Then she looked scary. I wonder if I'll ever- I'll be like Claire when I'm older. Will I enjoy those days? Probably because she had to stand up for the poor kids. She always looks like she's looking at something. We are. Just us. This letter looks familiar. This is one of the secret letters that Wendy and I traded. Dear Wendy, my visitor in the window. My visitor in the window. Yes. 
um, possibly Clara, but we're not sure. Uh, yeah, Jennifer is the only survivor. Thank you so much for writing to me. The man calls me Joshua, but my name is Jennifer. I've been in this room ever since he saved me. He's a nice person, but he won't let me leave. December 10th. Thank you, Wendy. I want to fly away from this room and run with you in the fields, but the man is so lonely. So sad. I can't just leave him alone. February, or January. Thank you, Wendy. My kind and fair princess. Is there something that I can do for you? Uh, January. I, Jennifer, pledge to the fair princess Wendy, everlasting true love. I am yours. March. Wendy, I'm here now, but it's kind of afraid. I'm kind of afraid. Everything is new to me. I'm worried that if I get along, if I'll get along with everyone. July. Dear Wendy, I have great news. I found something wonderful. I look forward to it every morning now, and I hope you will too. August. How are you, Wendy? You haven't said anything to me since I showed you the surprise. Do you like my cute little puppy, Brown? Let's take care of him together. August. My dear Wendy, this little guy is just so adorable. When I call his name, he comes bounding to me. I know you'll like him, too. September. How are you doing, Wendy? Are you all right? We'll always be friends, and you know Brown, Brown can be our friend, too. I know you don't understand, but I can't just abandon him. October. You've got it all wrong, Wendy. This isn't how it's supposed to be. I never expected you to react this way. All I ever wanted was for us to live happily ever after together. January. My dear prince. Oh, from Wendy to Jennifer. Yes, you are my prince. A prince and a princess must be together after all. Jennifer, you are my eternal companion. Just promise to stay by my side and save your smiles for me. That's all I ask. We don't need a filthy dog. We can't let anyone come between us. November from Wendy to Jennifer. You still have the filthy dog? I'll never forgive you. Have you forgotten your oath, the rule of the rose? Goodbye, Jennifer. You will regret choosing that dog over me. So there you go. That is a whole, like, story chunk that gets lobbed at you. Oh, the bird. Oh, it's the red bird in the cage. The doll Eleanor treasured. Oh, it's a doll. If only we could fly like birds and go wherever we wish, she whispered softly. Yet, no matter how much Eleanor wished, she'll never be able to fly. just fly away from this orphanage. Poor Eleanor. She was burdened by her own frozen heart. So yeah, Jennifer is such an unlucky girl. She is the sole survivor of the airship and the orphanage massacre. in the dining room. Is there nothing in here? I guess not. Okay. 
So I'm curious if, if they say anything about some of these rooms. Like the Cell of Solitude, which is just a chair and a hammer. One time Diana was so absorbed in deep thought here. She was the prettiest, most mature of the aristocrats. She wanted to be so much to be an adult. And yet she was also afraid of growing up too fast. Of repentance. Nothing. Cell of Pleasure. And this is the one with the... There's a project working film projector here. Okay. Well, we didn't find any films. Because I didn't look for them. But... I'm sure you can find them on YouTube if you want to watch them. The Cell of Bliss. Miss the creepy imps. Spooky things, the scary creatures that everyone talked about. They'll come and clean if you don't, sweeping bad children away like dust. Well, they actually came and attacked me. I knew what, what they really were, but that wasn't the problem. The real problem was my weak heart. There's a bug on my forehead. So yeah, this will be the last one and then we'll we'll finish the, the game. She's over <laughs> She's having a panic attack. She's just constantly having panic attacks. Oh, yes, I need that. I'm glad I came in here. I actually forgot all about that. I need that. Can I go out this way? Oh, can. Cool. The inner courts. It all started here when I dug up the mound. I sensed that something precious to me was buried here. And I couldn't stop myself. The old me, the one who didn't understand herself. I lost my friend because of her. If, if I could go back, I'd try and save him. But that has happened, but what has happened can never be undone. I'll never break a promise again. Yep, hadn't seen that one before. That one hurts. Jennifer. I think. Yeah. 
actually, what is in here? Other than the classroom. I learned many things at this orphanage. The alphabet words, how to clean and do laundry. But the most important thing I learned was the lesson that I received in exchange for my dear friend's life. I finally came to understand myself. My beliefs and the will to stand up for them. I don't want to lose those ever again. Something is a form of government controlled by one man's will. I can't, I can't tell what that says. Democracy is a form of government controlled. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to say. Okay. Alright, so I guess that's all the story pieces we really need to know. <laughs> the small locker, but it was just for me. My name was even on it. They made me feel welcome. I was so happy, I moved my shoes in and out over and over again. One day, Mr. Hoffman suddenly disappeared. Clara and Miss Martha soon followed leaving me and the other orphans alone. We never used umbrellas. On snowy days, we'd go out for snowball fights. On rainy days, we'd go out and play in the rain and get soaking wet. Every time Xavier would trip and get himself all muddy, we'd laugh. It was so much fun. So see, it wasn't all bad. There it goes. Front gate. Oh, her hat blew away. Good. Let, let me... Mm -mm. Okay. Oops. So apparently the story is her confronting her past. That's why everything is so displaced and weird. Why it's part the mansion and part the airship.
please wait for me. I'll be there. No. The only time you can pet brown. <laughs> My dear friend, I never want to lose you again. I'll protect you forever until I die. Everlasting true love, I am yours. I'll protect you forever and ever until I die. That's it. May I reach my shame when I call your name? Ugh, it's so good and awful. I love it. I want to be dead when I am I'm in bed. I can be so mean, you can feed me. I would like to shame you. I would like to blame you just because of my yeah. <laughs> Fuck outside. I love it so it's just a instant as rose as in May. I do not take my drive. I do really like this song too. I am a Cause love itself is just as brief as a candle in the wind in this pure white just
I would love if this game got a remaster. I don't think it'll ever happen, though. Then they went on to make Tulip. Wow, 2006. This game is nearly 20 years old. The key, the end is shaped like a four-leaf clover. Oh, we don't need the kitchen knife. Okay, we'll just save over this, it's fine. Back in March. So. Galloway! Welcome in, thank you, thank you. Yep, we just finished this. I'm I'm only gonna be playing for a little bit longer. Um, but yes, thank you. Thank you for lurking. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Her friend, the princess of the red rose, was always at her side. But then one day. Her mummy and daddy died suddenly, and the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. And she was so unlucky. Jennifer, Jennifer, play with me, Jennifer. Read the story. Please, read the story. What happens next? <laughs> What's this? I didn't even realize, uh... I th Is that stray dog driving the bus? Wait. Is everything Please. just Uh, so we're gonna go look at the new stuff. Okay. No. We've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was all alone. Such an unlucky girl.
I guess. Sorry, 10 o'clock. As the girl approached the sign, she heard a dog's bark. It sounded strangely familiar to her and beckoned her to come. Alright, let's go get brown stuff. It's not locked. Oh. There was nothing in there. Can I actually look at the footprints? Okay. Slip of paper is tied to the dog collar. It's a slip of paper with boarding pass and a picture of a fish on it. The name Brown is on the dog collar. Okay. So we'll save. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of different stuff in New Game Plus. But not enough to do a full playthrough of, I don't think. Stupid Joshua. Or as we know now, stupid Wendy. Following the boy up the road, she came upon a huge old mansion. For some reason, this place seems familiar to the unlucky girl. We were just here. And that hurts even more now that I, we know what that is. Children with bags over their heads are beating something with a stick. The unlucky girl was frightened and backed away from the gate. I do find it interesting how they lay out the story. I definitely didn't get it the first run through. <laughs> get out of here. Um, nothing good. <laughs> our our friend in the game. Oh God, that means I have to go through all of that. Uh, we have to do so much to get to the new game. <laughs> I want to I want to get to the, the fun stuff. Yep, it's uh this is not a good story. I mean, it's it's great. It's horrendous. <laughs> but I love it. So now that we've seen Legendous Stray Dog kidnaps kids. So I'm curious if those are the kids that actually were kidnapped or that's just Wendy telling lies. Hmm.
Uh, this is a this is a good and terrible game. Uh, Galloway. It's uh, it's something. Legend of Stray Dog. Stray Dogs gives us sweets. Empty cages are stacked up. Are animals being kept here? Probably. They probably didn't last because these children are horrible. Trail of blood leads into the mansion as if something had been dragged inside. Okay, that's not going to talk about the fish there. <laughs> just, uh... Just the trail of blood leading into the house. Okay, so I'm gonna run through this. I'm gonna try and get us to the the new stuff as quick as possible. E. <laughs> the unlucky girl felt the chilling gaze of many eyes upon her. So I guess yeah, she was all alone. I mean, I'm just gonna go to where I know I'm supposed to go. It's not this. Hold on. Okay, this way. I'm sorry. That one was new. I don't know what that was about. Curious. go up here? Oh well. Okay. I know if one door is locked, they're both gonna be locked. It was worth a try. Wait, I guess I am supposed to follow them upstairs. Okay. I know where I'm supposed to go. I should I remember where to go from here though? Not that way. Okay. And that's this way. Alright, up the stairs we go. The filth room. Oh yeah, there's uh, Amanda's doll. Great. I love it. There's a creepy doll tied to the pillar. Okay. Alright, so... I guess maybe now we can go? No. 
Well, maybe, maybe, because I think this is the rear stairs. Or leading to it. Come here, you stupid kid. <laughs> okay. Going upstairs. Oh, so now we can go in here. Ouch. <laughs> All right, get the map. I just realized he's sitting in a uh, Joshua's seat. Joshua the bear seat. Oh, when the unlucky girl approached, the child spoke. My, aren't you a slowpoke? Like always. Here, read me the rest of the story. You know, the book I handed you. <laughs> oh, it's waiting on me. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. At her new home, the aristocrat club lived by the rose of the... Wow, the rule of the rose. But the girl found herself very much alone. We will now begin the funeral. All those gathering, please gather... Or attending, please gather around at this time. I cannot read anymore tonight. Come on, Jennifer, the funeral's about to begin. It's a funeral for your dear friend. Before she realized it, the boy was gone, and the girl was left in confusion. Oh, he's all sleepy. I feel like I got... There's a gnat in here. I feel like it keeps bothering me. Is this the right way? Okay. Nope, not the right way. Well, I'm happy I got to play this game again, and I'm happy I got through it pretty quickly, too. I mean, it's not a very long game. When the girl went out to the yard, she found a shovel standing before a grave. The unlucky girl sensed that something very dear to her was buried here. As if possessed, she began to dig furiously.
Especially knowing what it is now, it's just, mm. Just look at you. You're filthy. I really wish they would remake this. Okay. What do you like to say? Yeah, sure. I'll just rewrite it with this. It's, it's a really messed up game. I love it though. It's not a happy game. <laughs> wiggle around. The girl awoke. She found herself in a strange room. Oh, I have to wiggle around some more. It was a cold, lonely, stinky room. No, you're shit. Hmm. So that's how you feel, is it? Yep. Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it kind of does. This is a, a safe room, though. A bad, bad girl who's not sorry, hmm? Nope. Anyway, I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? Nope. I actually haven't seen that movie, Old Boy. Now, I'm going to give you your first order. Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. No, you are. Is there anything about this that you don't understand? Yes. Yes? <laughs> hmm. Oh well, it doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer? There are really only two kinds of people in the world. Those who take orders, and those who give them. And from now on, I'll be giving the orders. Not fair? Well, dear Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> you will follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the prince, and the prince rules. <laughs> Oh, 
don't think we will. Let the games begin, dear Jennifer. <laughs> don't worry, Galloway. They get theirs. We saw that a little earlier. And so, the ri- wow, the rope was cut, snip snip, and the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. And when the girl examined the bucket, it pleaded. Lass, please put me back atop my body. Back on top of the headless scarecrow behind you. If you do, I'll help you in return. We gotta hurry up and get the pup. Found a bucket. As the girl placed Bucket in its proper place, it spoke. I am the Bucket Knight, keeper of promises. Yet time can be so cruel, for I have aged and cannot remember the past. You know what I refer to, and I know that you know. However, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. Yep. See you. I'm curious, kind of curious how quickly I can beat this um, in New Game Plus, but I don't know if I'll play it all the way through. I mean, there's new stuff I can get, but... Okay. Okay. The girl has found a strange door, but where does it lead? Oh, read the poster. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Alright, let's go find that butterfly. As the unlucky girl stood helplessly, the door spoke. Give me a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Find one and you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. Alright. Well, we're not going to go, well, no. William! Oh, there's the butterfly. Okay.
All right. We'll come back for you, puppy. Um, Yeah, like I said, it's not a nice, it's not a nice game. It's, it's so great, but it's, it's not good. We'll get him down though. Okay, um... Wait, go up one. Oh, shush, Decky. Oh, I don't have a map. Oh, no. Maybe I do have to go talk to Diana. Yep. Do I have to talk to you? The unlucky girl met Diana, the strong-willed princess. As she gathered her courage to speak the, to the princess, the princess cursed. She's such a pain. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Now we're playing a game. At least we don't have to listen to her cry all that time. Probably. If you're not gonna take it, I'll take the butterfly. Take the butterfly? <laughs> oh my god. That music worked with the, uh, the little girl. Walking out like a badass. I mean, it's dead green butterfly. Its wings are tattered and mostly fallen off. Gross. That was lovely. Thank you. Oh, shush. You're so rude. Okay, um, so... Technically, I could go in there, right? I'm supposed to have it. Let's, let's, I mean, we gotta go back by the storage anyway, so we'll... It better be in there. If not, I'm gonna be just already done. Countless hours. It, it took you hardly any hours to get this working. Uh, yes, this way. That on the T. What are you gonna put his uh, theme song on a T? Because if you figure out how to do that, please, I need that. I need it just to perpetually play his theme song forever if I wear it. And I need the, the bad, like, crow face on there, too. For the love of God, it better be in here.
Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God. But, uh, I didn't see the ticket. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. You know, I wish it kept all my weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. I missed. <laughs> so did they. Did you have anything? Nope. Just a body on the floor. Cool. A child reading loud. Okay. <laughs> I'm having nightmares tonight. <laughs> oh, this is nothing. All right. Let's let's give them the. Gross butterfly. Give Fox door said to the unlucky girl. Wow, it took me a minute. You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. And then you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. And I dropped the key. We gotta go free the puppy. Duel. Speaking of puppy, Aurora is just out. Yes, we're on New Game Plus. In front of the unlucky girl stood a man in a brown coat that she had never seen before. You liar. You know exactly who that is. The man quietly handed her a storybook. Yep, we're getting brown. Yep, brown's the dog. The Cloverfield. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted to do was to be happy, so she went to a Cloverfield. The man is the dog. Nope. Well, yeah, Techie, you are brown. No, 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 that's, that's Stray Dog. The guy that handed us the book, that, that's Stray Dog. That's Gregory. Uh, she found a one-leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. <laughs> she found a two-leaf clover, but it slipped into the shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too unlucky. Not me. We got the key this time. Butts indeed. So yeah, that was Stray Dog. He looks different with his clothes on. <laughs> I'm sure that just confused Galloway <laughs> even more. <laughs> yeah, his model at the end is not not good. All right, let's go get Brown. So get out of here, Joshua. 
Um, remember, Gregory liked to write little storybooks for Joshua. All, all the Joshuas. Since technically there are three. Why she couldn't stand in a chair to get the scissors, I don't know. That's the biggest mystery. So, Raster, did you get everything squared away? Did you get the, uh, the story down? So scary. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot to it. Like I said, the first time I played it through, I... I didn't get it. That you did. You... I, I was laughing. Because I'm like, oh my god, you're just like, you're dancing all over it, and I just, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> okay, let's get brown. Come on, puppy wop. No brown. Detective games. Uh, you did well. Being good at them is your weakness. Free from captivity, the dog seemed quite happy. However, the dog stood there and wouldn't move. Would this make me a furry if I said smash? Yes. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> Brown. Oh. Brown. Yeah, we know how to do this. I don't want to do this part. I'm just not going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Nope. We know how. Puppy! 8% already. Uh, okay, where are we going? We need to go this way. Okay. Going to the new game plus. Becky, do you remember anything about this game? Sp like, specifically, the new game? <laughs> Not about this part. <laughs> Just stay lurking. It would have been less funny if they used different sound effects. It's been over two years. Yeah, it has. 
Martha's hat. You can't lurk. Okay. New game. New game plus stuff. Okay. Key. How's it going, Taylor? Oh yeah, did you stay out of trouble? You're obviously here, so... Trouble enough. Look! It's brown! Brown's a chair! Serp's looking real hard. Being a good homie. You got drunk drunk. You didn't- <laughs> Do you have tequila? Celebrate tequila day. <laughs> okay, so... Brown is now a chair. Let's see... What do we want to- Oh, we're a nurse. Oh. Drunk, drunk. So we have the master syringe. Maybe you should play Duke? Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, we can be an octopus. Okay, some migrant. God no. <laughs> Why do y'all want to see me play Mega Man? I'll tell you, don't. <laughs> Brown's a crab. <laughs> uh, this one's probably my favorite. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. And I got a tuna. And I hit you with the tuna. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, okay, so we don't need the dessert fork because we have master equipment now. I mean, that's coming. That's gonna be coming one day. Whether he likes it or not. Okay, so what? Oh, it's a tennis racket. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. I mean, I could mix and match. Oh, Brown, look at you. I mean, I don't want to go with this one, too. With the little umbrellas. Duo. Okay. What a hard decision. Like, brown as a chair is pretty amazing. Brown. <laughs> I don't know. I I love brown as a crab, though. That's just so silly. Alright, you know what? Let me finish out this this chapter. <laughs> Mostly because I want to see if the cutscenes are any different. The dog, or the crab. Nope, he's a crab. Oh, that's really creepy. 
Uh. Oh, I don't remember where to find the, uh... Okay. It is. We're an octopus now, with a giant tuna. And our dog is a giant crab. <laughs> um... Okay, where where are we? Okay. Um Oh, we gotta do Martha's hand. Is he a super daughter? Did I say daughter? I don't No no, it was our it was our dog. Our dog is brown, but right now he's a giant crab. Okay, brown, you gotta stop that. Um, is there... Ah, uh, gotcha. Stop it, neighbors. Oh, we have the one leaf key. It's never not funny to see Brown bark and then he's just a giant crab. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have the giant tuna. We're fine. Uh, we don't need that. Okay. I know. <laughs> All right. Becky, do the thing. I think he fell asleep. Earn your keep. Hold on. Pet the mods, as they say. Well, you didn't do your job, mod. Oh. <laughs> What's that crab barking? Yep. <laughs> uh, no. You have a contract, thank you. Oh, yeah, we have to find, we gotta search for Martha's hat. That's right. Go! Mm -mm. I own your ass. There we go. Found the dirty rag. No. That's part of the contract. You have to stay on board. 
In the dark room, the annoyed, unknown occupant spoke in a shrill voice. It was a, I was a mighty witch, yet now I'm but a powerless wretch, rubbish and dust. My precious, precious key, I hid it secretly. I hid it in a pure and dirty place. I hid it secretly. Your eyes cannot find it. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. You're truly a poor, unlucky girl. <laughs> Wesker, welcome back. As you can see, we're doing much better this time. We are a, a an octopus and a crab. <laughs> um, what are we? Oh, the dirty rag. I was sitting in the Oval Office. Well, look, look. Look at Brown now. Yeah. Meow. Jesus. So loud. <laughs> where, where are we going that way? Wait, what? Turn down for what? Turn down for what? Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I've I've played it through. Raster, though. Oh, did you send me something else? Raster has been uh stuck on it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's a uh that's a famous sound alert on this channel. Um okay, so I found the dirty rag. Go across oh, I gotta go this way. Yeah, Albert, this is a uh Something Gregory snapped when he lost his son and broke his head. Interesting. I'm guessing y'all got a bunch of uh, bits. Oh wait, y'all are using bits. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't thought about it in that way. Well, Wendy didn't actually do it. Wendy got had everyone else do it. He becomes the animal. Possible. Oh. Oh my god, pick up the knife. Pick it up. 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 <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Okay, now what's your thoughts on us being an octopus and a crab? A barking crab. <laughs> I need your thoughts on that one. Figure that one out. <laughs> oh, very possible. You good? You got this game down. I I'm really wanting to get to a cutscene. I want to see if we're gonna actually be an octopus because if so, we might play this all the way through. It'll be so worth it. Especially with my master tuna. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh. Is it 
this? Okay. Damn it. Alright, Brown, I need you to find it. I don't remember where it is. Crab Brown barking is just the funniest thing to be. <laughs> this is way better than him being a chair. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I have to think where I'm at. I, yeah, I love this game. And again, you missed the very beginning when we're going up to the mansion. And, uh, the princesses are outside beating a bag of something. It just hurts every time. <laughs> oh, it's such a, it's a horrible game. A horrible and painful game. If I had the money, I would buy the physical copy, yes. I don't. <laughs> but I would love to have a physical copy. I mean, I've already got him on the hunt for a uh, working CDI with Zelda's Adventure uh, as an engagement ring. So my money's kind of tied up there. Unless Techie, you want to? You want to do both? Oh, I didn't... Techie, stop paying attention. He's playing Breath of Fire. And clearly missing out on this awesome two-barrel cram! How's it going, Crambulance? <laughs> we're, giant, we're a giant octopus. Get him! Get him, Brown! Princess Brown face loomed large as she spoke to the girl. See, in the beginning she's a little normal. Okay, I said that. As she is doing this, what's happening here? I found this butterfly! It's mine, I won't give it to you! I won't lose to you. Well stitched, I'm a giant octopus. Brown is a crab. I have a giant tuna, and we're trying to get a butterfly from this girl. Who's hyperventilating. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it is. Okay. This is our first, uh... Okay. What are we? Octodad Dark Edition. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> uh. Oh, inventory's full.
Okay, um, let's see, we can drop that. We can drop that. And we don't need the knife. We have the master tuna. All right, Brown. I will say him scratching the door is super creepy. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't know this part was a thing until, uh, oh, butterfly. Until after I beat the game, originally. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on a second. Was he a dog? He was a dog right then. And then he morphed back into a crab. <laughs> oh my god. They're good games. This is an amazing game, minus the combat. The girl found a blue, a beautiful blue butterfly. This butterfly would surely make it a satisfactory gift. Jesus. All she needs to do is to catch it and take it to the gift box. <laughs> Place waste paper in the rubbish bin and laundry in the filth room. <laughs> Here we go. A girl. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> that he did. <laughs> Oh, I guess we just go. I do want to see Brown. Get him, Brown. Get him, Brown. Oh my god. <laughs> Crab Rave, that we do. This game is amazing. You helped get this game running. All these games that you keep calling shitty, you got them running. So, they can't be that bad. And that includes Zelda's Adventure. He worked hard to get that one running. Oops. Right? How many times have we played that one now?
I love that we just casually walk through the... Or just an octopus. What, you're giving your Resident Evil 2 a speedrun? Gotta read that right. Oh, we're a girl again. <laughs> After this, this movie, we'll call it good. I gotta get to bed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aristocrat Club. Thank you all for gathering here today. Disgrace. Nothing worse than nothing. Your gift is worth nothing. Amanda. Just make me a furry if I said smash. You want to smash the rats, the stick rat? <laughs> Y'all saw it, or you heard it. Stitch wants to smash the uh the stick rat. Yeah, Amanda's a little scary. <laughs> Every time I forget. <laughs> the unlucky girl awoke. She was back in the strange room. Boy in the white clothes looked down with knowing eyes and spoke to her. That's cute, giving them banana tips. I mean, rats are cute. Well, do you remember what a bad girl you were? You haven't gotten your memory back yet, have you? Well, you've really done many, many bad things. You'll just have to remember them little by little. 
When you fully remember what a bad girl you were, that'd be the end of the game. Now stay, take your stupid dog and continue with our little game. Mode activate. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I don't think Octopus, Jennifer, and Crab Brown will never not be funny to me. I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Meet me where you can see the sky. Your friend, Amanda. <laughs> Oy. It's just way too funny. I mean, do we stick with the octopus? Or do we change into one of the other? Because, I mean, we got most of the outfit. The only one we don't have is the rag doll with stuffed brown. Which I had to get all the uh, robots, which we didn't find any. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I think we're gonna call it good here. I don't know that I'll replay it again, like New Game Plus, but when we come back to it, we'll continue New Game Plus, because this is just funny. The Octo- do you really want an Octo playthrough? Would this make me a furry if I said Smash? Yes. <laughs> Smackies. Smash. <laughs> Look at me. Bite ya. Come. <laughs> Go. Go. Oh wait, hold on. There's one that I want him to do. I want to see this animation. Go. Okay. He doesn't do the weird chicken neck thing. That's kind of funny though. Anyway. Alright, we're gonna save here. Oh, boy. Alrighty, everybody. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. Uh, I'll be back on Saturday. I don't know what we're gonna play. We went through this at a good speed. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know what we're going to play. Uh, but yeah, I'll figure out something. We might just go back to Zelda. I need to finish that. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out. I'll see y'all on Saturday. And... Right? Yeah. Great, right, everyone. Catch y'all next time. Thanks and bye. 
Oh wait, no, I forgot something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Good night, everybody.